Sleazel. And just over four years ago, I took a trip that changed the way I travel and the way I see the world. A friend introduced me to couch surfing. <laughs> oh, I'd done a decent amount of traveling, but when my friend showed me the couch surfing website, it was like a whole new world of amazing was opened up to me. I'm so grateful for the introduction to couch surfing, so tonight, I'm hoping to pay it forward by introducing you to couch surfing. So what is couch surfing? Couch surfing is a global network of over 600,000 people who travel and people who open their homes and their lives to travelers with no expectations for compensation other than creating the opportunity to connect. Regardless of how they choose to participate in the community, every couch surfer has a profile on the couch surfing website that offers some insight into their interests, their lifestyle, their travel experience, and the couch they have to offer. So to review, the basics of couch surfing are a couch surfing host, a couch surfing surfer, a couch, no money being exchanged, but awesome connections being created. Huh? Now I'm going to ruin what could be a very dramatic story by telling you a few things. And the first thing is that couch surfing does not involve a surfboard, and it might not even involve a couch. If you're a host, you offer what you have, floor space, couch, guest room, or a whole frickin' wing of your house. And yes, I had that experience. Second, I did not have this experience. <laughs> Sleeping with strangers means under the same roof, not in the same bed, and I really don't want to get an undesirable reputation based on the title of my talk. And third, I did not die, nor was I killed. So let's talk about that for a minute. I'm an all-in kind of girl, and I had to check this couch surfing thing out for myself, so I planned the trip to the extremely exotic, difficult to navigate, mysterious world of marsupials. Okay, Australia really isn't that exotic, especially not when it comes to language or food, but there are lots of things there that can kill you. According to my mom, who totally freaked out that I was gonna be couch surfing by myself for a couple weeks, it wasn't gonna be an inland taipan snake or a saltwater crocodile that was gonna kill me. No, no, it was gonna be my first couch surfing host, Frank. Frank is a generous, educated, welcoming, environmentally-minded, socially conscious 50-year-old man who is the epitome of a couch-surfing host. He also leads a naturist lifestyle. That means he's a nudist. So my mom's thinking her only child is going around the world to stay with an old guy who likes to be naked. Great. This is me walking out from the Cairns airport, probably minutes away from being hacked into little pieces by an old naked guy, according to my mom, because I was going to meet up with Frank. But remember, I did not die, nor was I killed, and instead, my Australian adventure continued. My couch surfing experience was amazing, and the marsupials weren't too bad either. I learned three things from my couch surfing experience. Number one, telling your mom you're gonna be shacking up with a naturist Probably not the best way to introduce her to the idea of couch surfing. Instead, perhaps you should highlight that couch surfing and the website have resources in place to help keep everyone safe. Number two, couch surfing requires a lot of trust. Trusting yourself is important. You have to be ready to listen to and act on your intuition if it's telling you something isn't quite right. And trusting strangers is difficult. We're constantly being reminded about who's going to steal our stuff or our kids or identity or hurt us or do other bad things. Heck, just turn on the news. Trusting is scary, and it takes a lot of courage. But I also learned number three, I felt best about myself, the most alive, the most connected to people when I was pushing fear aside, having courage and trusting. I'm not saying we should throw caution to the wind, but we should offer credit where it's due and we should more readily trust. The world is full of good people. And I hope, I hope the next time you travel, you'll consider this whole new world of amazing that couch surfing might open up to you, or perhaps without leaving your home, you'll welcome the world into your life as a couch surfing host. Whichever you choose, trust me, you won't regret it. Thank <laughs> you.